Criminals are more likely to ride motorcycles. It's clear that motorbikes are a gateway to crime. Welcome to Friday Fallacy. This week we're looking at correlation and causation, or more properly, the cum hoc ergo propter hoc fallacy. The cum hoc ergo propter hoc fallacy is when correlation is assumed to imply causation. That is, rather than establishing causation, it is simply assumed based only on correlation. This is not a sound way of arguing, as two things occurring together doesn't mean they must be causally related in a particular way. That Christians are more likely to be imprisoned than atheists in no way means that Christianity causes people to commit crime. That families who eat dinner together are less likely to have drug abuse in no way means that these dinners prevent drug problems. Some examples of the cum hoc ergo propter hoc fallacy. Global warming is caused by the disappearance of pirates, as both have occurred over the last several decades. Men die from suicide more frequently than women, so being a man must make people more depressed. Converting to Christianity makes you more moral, as many converts improve as people. Ice cream sales correlate with murders, so there must be something in ice cream that causes violence. Not all conclusions of causality are the cum hoc ergo propter hoc fallacy. As anyone with even a passing knowledge of correlation knows, when A and B are correlated, there are three possible causal relationships. Either A causes B, B causes A, or a third thing, C, causes both A and B. It is also possible that the correlation is illusory and there is actually no causal relationship between A and B. So, Establishing a correlation between A and B is the first step in determining causation, not the last. To look at this further, let's consider these scenarios. If it is found that people who play violent video games are likely to exhibit violent behaviour, it might be tempting to conclude that the exposure to violent video games causes people to be violent. But this would be to commit the cum hoc ergo propter hoc fallacy, as it is just as likely that people who have violent tendencies would enjoy playing violent video games or even that having problems empathising with the suffering of others may cause both. Without further evidence, it is impossible to distinguish the actual causal relationship, and so to come to any conclusion about what causes what is premature. It's important not to fall into the reverse fallacy of assuming that correlation can tell us nothing about causation. Since correlation is necessary for causation, if two factors are uncorrelated, then they are unlikely to have a causal relationship. That is, when we find that there is actually no correlation between the MMR vaccine and autism, we can be confident that one does not cause the other. Another point to consider is that human beings are very bad at reliably identifying correlation using just our cognitive faculties. This means that even establishing that two things are actually correlated often requires careful data analysis and collection. And without either, it is difficult to determine actual correlations, especially when dealing with people. In conclusion, the cum hoc ergo propter hoc fallacy is when correlation is assumed to imply causation. Until next time, keep your fallacies to yourself.